watch this road There's a lot to live But you got to choose Well, you used to be singing the blues But now I'm singing the news Praise the Lord, friend. Welcome to the Good News Program. This is the program that you receive good news, news that will be beneficial, but not just beneficial, but that will be edifying and that will glorify the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything we do and that we say, we want to be sure that it glorifies the Lord Jesus Christ. So glad that you joined with us today. I'm going to continue on today's program talking about the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we look around in our world today, so many people are doing away with the cross, especially in other countries. They don't want anything to do with the cross. Well, is the cross really that significant? What does it really resemble? And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ, and not just the wooden beam, but what did Jesus accomplish when he went to that old cross? Well, he purchased our freedom, first of all, at that old rugged cross, and he gave us so many wonderful things. He gave us pardon. He gave us peace. And we have provision because of what he has done at the cross. I'm going to invite you in just a few moments to come into the sanctuary here at the Good News Fellowship Church where I shared this with our congregation on the realities of the cross. We're talking about going back to the cross. So many people have forgotten about the cross, and we don't want to do that. 1 Corinthians 1 and 18, I love this scripture, says, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But listen to this. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. So I trust you will be helped and you will be blessed today by this message and also by this song that I'm going to be sharing with your special offer for this month, of course, is our CD entitled Gospel Favorites. And I'm going to be sharing some songs with you today off of this project. And the first one is one of my favorite old hymns that I grew up as a boy singing entitled In the Garden. So I want you just to worship the Lord and enjoy this song and this teaching segment. And then I'll be back in a few moments after that to pray with you. So stay tuned. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the Yeah. 
and the joy we share as we tarry there. None other has ever. Yes, amen. Billy Graham said, the cross shows us the seriousness of our sin. We need to see what happened on the cross. Sin had to be judged. In the old covenant, we read where animals had to give their lives in the place of people for thousands of years. Much blood was shed. Many lives were taken of these animals. That showed the seriousness of sin. In order for the people to live, a life had to be taken in their place. And that was simply a shadow of Jesus, the Lamb of God, that had to give his life for us. He had to take our place. You see, the blood of animals only covered sin for a short while, and they had to do it again and again and again. But Jesus was offering a final sacrifice once and for all. Hebrews 7 says, For such a high priest was fitting for us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and has become higher than the heavens, who does not need daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifices, first for his own sins and then for the people's. For this he did once, once for all when he offered up himself. Where did he do that? On the cross. Jesus was being judged with our sin. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Somebody had to die. It wouldn't have did you any good if it was me or anybody else except Jesus because him and him alone was the one that was perfect, spotless, Lamb of God. No sin within him. He was the incarnate Son of God. It was our sin, it was our transgression that sent him to the cross. Somebody said, well, the Jews killed him. No, I killed him. You killed him. It was our sin that put him there. Dietrich Bonhoeffer said, quote, The cross is the lightning rod of grace that short-circuited God's wrath to Christ." so that only the light of his love remains for believers. Ooh, I think I got to say that one more time. When I first read that, I said, wow, I think I'll write that one down. You remember Dietrich Bonhoeffer? He was the one that stood up to Hitler. When Hitler went to shutting all the churches down, Dietrich Bonhoeffer said, you ain't shutting mine down. He said, I'm going to worship the Lord. And Dietrich Bonhoeffer spoke out against Hitler. He said, he's wrong. They killed him. Well, they said they killed him. But when, when you are a follower of Christ, they can't kill you. You just go on living. Amen. <laughs> they killed his flesh, but that's it. Hallelujah. So he had some revelation. The cross is the lightning rod of grace that short circuits God's wrath to Christ so that only the light of his love remains for believers. I read an illustration concerning this. It's about a story told of a pioneer family traveling across the western plains in a covered wagon. And you know I like a good western they watched in horror as a huge prairie fire rushed towards them, driven by a strong wind. They were afraid they would be killed by the fire, 
but the man acted quickly. Listen what he did. He jumped down and quickly he lit the dry prairie grass around their wagon. As the fire he set burned downwind, he then pulled his wagon onto the burned out area and his family stood there as the fire swept past them. Pretty wise, wasn't it? Of course, the fire didn't burn what had already been burned, so they survived. They found safety where the fire had already burned. Mm, somebody's getting it. <laughs> I said they found safety where the fire had already burned. There is one place where the fire of God's judgment against sin has already fallen. At the cross of Jesus Christ. Maybe that was the message that Michelangelo was hiding in his painting of the last judgment. You can choose to wait and stand before God at the final terrible judgment or you can choose to stand at the cross where God's wrath against sin has already burned. <laughs> Amen? Hallelujah? The cross is not some elementary truth that is only for sinners and for new believers. Many times we'll get that idea, well, you know, I know about the cross and I know what happened at the cross you know, but, you know, I don't want to think about that. You know, I want, I want to just think about uh, other things, you know, like the resurrection, and that has its place too. And uh, I'm seated with Christ because, see, Paul had the revelation of being seated with Christ. He had the revelation of the authority of the believer and other things, and we need to study them all. But if we're not careful, we'll say, well, that's an elementary doctrine. I don't need to think about the cross. I don't need to stay around the cross, but I'm going to show you why you do. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you enjoyed that teaching segment and that song today. Oh, that's what we want to do. We want to do things that will encourage you and lift you up and build you up. There are so many things going on in our world today that want to steal our peace that wants to steal everything that Jesus provided at the cross. But we don't want that to happen. We want to do our part to encourage you and to say, even if you've been knocked down, get back up and keep going because the Lord is with you. I, I said earlier about uh, the uh, special product offer that I want to be sharing with you, the Gospel Favorite CD, and that's what I want to talk about right now. Uh, this is 10 songs that will bless your heart, that will edify you and encourage you. We're making it available for this limited time for your gift of $18 or more. You can call us with your credit card if you would like at 888-429-2280. And we'll be glad to get this right into your hands once again. That's for a gift of $18 or more. Now that includes the shipping. So call us right now at 888-429-2280 for this special offer. And uh, it has Jesus on the main line, the altar, hard knocks, a, a beautiful song written by a good friend of ours, uh, uh, Gerald Crabb, and then Because He Lives, of course, written by Bill and Gloria Gaither. Put your hand in the hand. Somebody's praying for me and others that will be sure to bless your heart. So call us right now for your gift of $18 or more, 888-429-2280. Once again, that's a toll-free number at 888-429-2280. Now, if you get a busy signal, please keep calling back because we may be on the line helping someone else. Just keep calling back, 888-429-2280. Now, we still receive a lot of snail mail, so if you prefer sending a check or money order in the mail, you can still do that to Post Office Box 550, Tick Fall, Louisiana, 70466. And if you do that, please uh, send us your prayer request as well because we'd love to pray for you. We believe that God 
meets your needs and he answers prayers. So be sure and do that. Don't forget about our next concert coming up. As most of you know by now, we have a special concert the first Friday of every month. And I'm singing and we have a special guest that comes in and our May the 7th concert is the next one. Our special guest will be Danny Ray Bishop from Jackson, Mississippi. So you don't want to miss it all evening long, anointed gospel music as well as good food. We always have some kind of good plate lunches like jambalaya or gumbo or good old red beans. And Barbara always brings her world famous coconut cake as well as other desserts. So you don't want to miss out May the 7th, and this is for 2021, of course, and uh, we have our next great big concert, and it's a blessing to be here. So be sure and call us for more information at 888-429-2280, or you can go on our website, and you can see information on there about it at mvmgoodnews.com. I never like to close the program without giving a special invitation to receive Christ's gift of eternal life. You know, I've been talking about what Jesus did at the cross, and He did so many wonderful things for us at the cross. He shed His precious blood on that cross so that we might have forgiveness, eternal life, the peace that we need in our hearts and our lives, and also we have the provision of, of healing for our bodies as well or as our daily bread. So many things He has provided at the cross, but we have to accept that and receive that personally. It won't just happen because it's in the Bible. We have to say, Lord, I thank you for doing that for me. I believe that you did that for me personally, Jesus, and I accept what you did for me. And the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. And it can all start with a very simple little prayer. So if the Lord's dealing with your heart, why don't you pray with me right now? Say, Heavenly Father, that's right, pray with me. Heavenly Father, I'm sorry for my sin and the life that I have lived without you. I commit my heart and life to Jesus Christ right now. I believe He is the Savior of the world. I believe He died on that cross. He shed His precious blood for me, for my forgiveness, and He rose again the third day. I confess you, Jesus, as my Savior and my Lord, and I believe in my heart you rose from the dead, and you are alive today. In Jesus' name, I pray these things. Amen and amen. Friend, if you pray that prayer, the Bible says that you are now a child of God. That's right. You have a place at the table now. You're not on the outside looking in, but you're in the kingdom of God and you are a born again child of God. So I want to rejoice with you by sending you a free little gift. It's a little book entitled, Now What? And it has all kind of good little pointers in it about how to read your Bible, how to study your Bible, how to pray. And it's just chock full of scriptures that you can look up in your own Bible. So if you prayed that prayer just now to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, I want to encourage you to call this number and get this book. Once again, it's free of charge. I will even pay the postage to get it to you. Call me right now at 888-429-2280. Once again, that's a toll-free call, 888-429-2280. If you get a busy signal, please keep calling back because we may be on the line helping someone else. We want to get this book into your hand because we know what a help and a blessing that it will be to you. 888-429-2280. I'm excited because I know that many people just prayed that prayer to receive Jesus. That is the most important thing that you could ever do in your entire life is to give your heart in your life to Jesus. Now you have a helper. You have somebody that will help you, that will strengthen you through this life. And then you have a life beyond. You have eternal life. 
So that is the most important thing that anyone could ever do. Now, those of you that have been watching this program for some time and it's been a blessing to you, I want you to pray and consider becoming a Good News Partner and help us to spread the gospel to the nations of the world. The Lord has given us a mandate to do that very thing. He has blessed us. He has given us the gospel. Now we want to give it to someone else. We want to help others know about the eternal life that is found in Jesus. And you can help us. So please consider becoming a partner by giving a financial donation each month, and then you will receive a special letter from me each month with a devotional in it, as well as a prayer covering and other wonderful things as being a partner. So if you'd like more information, just give us a call and say, I'd like to be a partner at 888-429-2280, or you can go on our website to see more about partnership information at mvmgoodnews.com. Once again, that's mvmgoodnews.com. Now, I want to say a special prayer right now for all of our viewers and our radio listeners and our partners that make this program possible. I believe if you're going through a difficult time in your life that God can touch you right now because there is no distance uh, where prayer is concerned. He can touch you right there where you are. So if you are sick, if you're going through a trying situation, I ask you to pause right now and let me pray for you and receive what you need from the Lord. Heavenly Father, I thank you for everyone watching and listening today, and especially those that may be weak or sick, Lord. I ask you to heal them and raise them up right now. I pray right now that you would strengthen everyone, that you would meet every need. I pray for divine miracles right now to happen in the lives of your people Oh, yes, I just rebuke sin, sickness, disease, and the devil right now. And I declare your mighty anointing just to take control in their lives. And I thank you for it. I give you all the praise and the honor for the harvest that is coming in today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. And once again, thank you, partners, so much for being such a help and a blessing to us. We love you and we appreciate you. Enjoy this last song that we're going to share with you. And I'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. God bless you. His son, they called him Jesus. He came to love, to heal and forgive. He bled and he died. Yes, to buy my pardon. And an empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. And because He
then one day gonna cross that river I'll fight life's fight final war with pain and then as dead gives way I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466, or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com, and our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. Singing the news. I'm singing the good news. Everywhere I go.